Hey guys, welcome. Let's jump in to our circle review video. Okay. Number one, uh, we have right here a 90 degree, which is going to split this into 5.5 and 5.5. And we can actually draw this down in here and put X because it's the radius. And now we get a special right triangle. So we get 3.6 and... Okay, so we set up our uh, Pythagorean theorem, 3.6, 5.5, square those, and x is in the uh, position of the hypotenuse, so that's why that one's by itself, so 3.6 squared plus 5.5 squared is going to give us uh, 43.21, and then we just take the square root of that, and we're going to get x equals 6.5. Five, seven. Number two, Earth's radius is about 4,000 miles. So you want to go ahead and draw a circle. Picture is going to help. Okay, so we have a radius is uh, 4,000 miles. Uh, what is the distance a person can see on a clear day from an airplane five miles? So if I go five additional miles up, how much can I see? Now, this right here is a tangent line because it's going through the horizon. So it's going to create a 90 degree here. So this is also 4,000. The distance I can see, I don't know. And I'm five miles up in the air. So we're going to use Pythagorean's theorem here. This time we're going to get 4,005 squared equals x squared plus 4,000 squared. And so I like to just do it in my calculator. I'm going to kind of just show you what I do in my calculator here. Um, since I have this piece and this piece, I'm going to subtract the 4,000 squared from the 4,500 squared. So we get the 4,500 squared minus 4,000 squared. And I get this number, 4,025. And then I'm just going to take the square root of the answer. And it gives me 200.06. So I kind of do most of that in my calculator once I have it all set. And we're done. And I could put that in miles as well. So my bad. I forgot to put the units on there. Should be miles. Number three, find the arc length. Okay, so if you recall, arc length is going to be the measure of DE over 360 times 2 pi r. Arc length has to do with circumference. So the measure of DE, well, if I look at this right here, kind of hopefully my finger's not fully in the way. Um, let's cover it up with a piece of paper maybe so it doesn't fully work. Um, EB is a diameter. So if I do 52 plus 90 plus X, I should be able to find this angle. So we actually get this as 38 degrees. Um, so the measure is 38. So 38 over 360 times 2 pi 8 is my radius. And so we can get two different answers. So 38 divided by 360 times 16. So you might get about 1.68 pi. Or if you times it by pi, um, then you're going to get um, 5.3 about. So either one of those two would be good, and we're in inches for that one. Number four, we need to find x here, and since we have a common point with two tangent lines, we can actually set these equal to each other. And if you solve this correctly, you get x equals 2. And if you plug x back in, so 7 times 2 plus 4, you're going to get 18. So 18 becomes the segment right here, which means on the other side, you're also going to get 18. This is 15. This is also 15. If you take 15 away from 52, so 52 minus 15, you're going to get 37 for here and here. Essentially, all we have to do is add up all of our circled ones, or all these in blue. And if you add all those up for our perimeter, we're going to get 140 for the perimeter. Okay. Uh, oh, you don't need to do that one. Number six, find the circumference circle that has an area of 530.6. So, first of all, area of a circle is this. So, we set it equal to 530.6. Six. Now this is a problem you also want to kind of do in your calculator. So first thing is 530.66. 6. 
we're going to divide that number by pi first. So we divide it by pi, so we get this number, so divide by pi. R squared equals about 168.9. Now I'm leaving in my calculator, and now I'm going to take the square root of that number, and I get 12.99. So R equals about 12.99. But then I want to find the circumference, so I'm going to do 2 pi r, or 2 pi 12.99. And in my calculator, I already have it, so I can just do times 2, which is going to be 25.99. So I can do 25.9 pi, or I can also multiply that number by pi. And we get 81.6. So either one works. Number seven, I can't believe how many people mess up on this, but we're finding the area of a sector. So that's gonna be the measure of whatever arc, in this case we don't have an arc, but the measure of the arc over 360 times pi r squared. Now I'm looking for the shaded region, so not 65, but I'm gonna go ahead and do 360 minus 65 and I get 295. So we get 295 over 360 times pi 15 squared. So we gotta just throw in our calculator and we're gonna get either 184.3 pi or if you multiply that by pi then you're gonna get 579.2 as your area. Number eight, solve for the value of x so I'm actually going to pretend that I'm just solving for this whole piece here and use Pythagorean theorem. Uh, 15 squared plus 18 squared equals, I'm going to use hypotenuse, that's the h squared. So I'm solving for that piece. Um, and if we do 15 squared plus 18 squared, we're going to get 549. Take the square root. And we are going to get about, h equals about 23.4. Now that's for the whole distance of blue. I don't want that full distance. I just want this distance right here. So I know if this is 15, this portion's 15 because they're a radius. So all I have to do is subtract 15 from that number and I'll get what x is. So I'm going to subtract 15 in my calculator and I end up with 8.43. And last but not least, right here, uh, 7 is just this little bottom piece. If the whole thing is 16 here, 9 plus 7 would make 16 because they're radius. Drop in my uh, hypotenuse. We got 16, 9, and a 90. So we can use Pythagorean theorem. 9 squared plus x squared equals 16 squared. Um, so I'm going to do that in my calculator. And I just go straight to subtracting the 9 squared from the 16 squared and hitting go, and that gives me 175. So x squared equals 175, take the square root, and we get 13.2. Now that's what x equals, but I only found this portion right here. So that's not the whole thing. I wanna find all of AB, so we have to multiply that by two, and if I do that, I should end up with 26.45 as my final answer. Okay? Alright guys, peace out.